All right, here we are. Everything is set up now, and uh, well, let's go. Also, a little um, side note on these late war quiz shells like this one. Um, there were usu usually a lot of paint runs on the inside, especially sort of in the dome area here, sort of there, in a well, you could call it a crown shape because I guess they were just like spraying them like shh, and um, all the paint ran down. So I might try to replicate it, but well, we'll see how it goes. So without further ado. Alright, part one done. Just gotta wait a bit and then apply the second coat on the inside and then we can switch to the out. And now I'll try to do the texture. I'm just going to put some in my hand and, you know, blow on it and see if it spreads evenly. Yeah, we'll see if that works. spray over it. Well, I say that actually turned out quite well. It's got a nice a really thick texture to it. Let's go down and have a look. As you can see here, once it's dry it'll be a flat blaugrau and then it'll be easier to see. Right now it just looks kind of weird, <laughs> but that's just because the paint is still drying. So, that is my um, yeah, texture stuff. This is silicon carbide. I mean, they would have used aluminium oxide, but I couldn't really find it for sale online easily. So I just bought some silicon carbide, which does the same thing, and it was available in all the sizes you could want. So I bought a two kilogram bucket of it, and that's the result. And now we'll just wait for it to dry, and let's see what it'll look like once we're done. So you can see we're at the table now. It's been about a day since we painted the helmet. You can take a look at it now. You know, nice Luftwaffe blaugrau paint. I hope it's in focus anyway. Turned out quite well. I also tried to make the drawn thing <laughs> out of paint runs and it sort of worked. I mean, there's a little bit, but you can't really see it. See it. And um, yeah, so imagine we're at the factory and now we are going to inspect the shell. And um, if it's good, we'll give it a dome stamp. All right, we'll take a look at it. The texture is nice. We'll give it a dome stamp. For that, we need ink, preferably waterproof ink, or the ink will just come off. So that's what I've got this for, this little ink pad. And um, yeah, the dome stamps, where'd I put them? That's the question. They're not here. That is precisely the reason why you should prepare for your videos and not just do them willy nilly. Because, um, yeah, stuff like this happens. Mm. I didn't put them in there yet. It's actually a good location to put them in. Let's see if they're in here. No, not there. There's another little plastic bag. Ah, I think I got them. Um, get out. Something in the way. No, this one the correct one. Let's just 
it. Right, well, here's further dome stamps. Um, I made them myself. Let's see, no, this is Fulda. Uh, no, that's Thale. This one is Schwerte. These haven't been fixed yet. By the way, um, if you're going to do dome stamps, um, there is reproductions out there, but they're not very good. They use wrong fonts. I actually uh, found the exact fonts that they used um, and well, copied from original you know, photos of original dome stamps and ones I had myself. Um, so mine are pretty much exactly like the original. But um, I only have these here. I only, only have one example of each. I might, you know, make more of them. Maybe I'll sell them or something because I mean they're very nice dome stamps I put them on my helmets well the ones that fit so this is the Esslingen stamp for Quist helmet and I will put it in there it's as simple as that just put some ink on there see if there is ink on there there is and um, yeah just goes down it's everywhere and we're done yeah, that turned out pretty well. Let's see if you can get it in the light. There we are. Yeah, abgenommen Wehrmacht, Beschaffungsamt, Bekleidung und Ausrüstung, Abnahmestelle Esslingen. Very nice. I have an uh, original quiz timer that is lot number DN 522, so only three digits after this one. And it's also got the exact same dome stamp in there, so this is as accurate as it'll get. So, that's it for this bit of the video. Now we'll go on to making the liner. But um, since I'll be putting a partial reproduction liner in there, I'll have to order the parts. But I do have an original liner that, well, original liner band that I'm going to um, well, put together. and make a usable liner out of again, so we'll just do that. I already prepared the leather, so the next steps are really quite simple. See, I already stamped it out and put the little things on there. So yeah, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. You just stitch it together here, you know, that. Then put the felt strip on, add, uh, add some markings, and you're done. So we'll just get on to that now because we're going to make this a complete restoration. And um, yeah, just imagine me putting that liner in there when I have the other one, so it doesn't really matter, it's it's the same. So yeah, let's carry on.